As the largest, heaviest and most complicated spacecraft China has ever tried to make. The Tianhe core module was sent into preset orbit from Wenchang Spaceport in South China's Hainan province in April 2021. It marked a major step forward in the project's technology verification phase, which included six planned launches. The 16-meter-long core module served as the space station's management and control center, while also hosting three astronauts for long-term in-orbit missions. Just a month later, the technology verification phase took another step forward. A special cargo ship, the Tianzhou-2, was sent up to dock with a fledgling outpost. It carried 6.8 tons of supplies. During its time in orbit, the Tianzhou-2 also carried out a range of planned tasks, including a fly around Tianhe and a verification of the space station's robotic arms. On June 17th, the space station was ready to take its first human inhabitants. The Long March 25Y-12 carrier rocket sent astronauts near Haisheng, Liu Buming and Tang Hongbo into space. The trio became the first Chinese to enter space station. Their main tasks were to install facilities, including living, catering and sanitation, so as to lay the basic foundations for long-term residence in orbit. And more than that, the astronauts verified the recycling system for oxygen and water in the space station. One of their most important tasks was launching extravehicular activities. During their brief stay, they conducted two spacewalks while successfully testing the extravehicular space suits, as well as the coordination between Tycoon Nords and Tianhe's robotic arm system. On September 20, China sent up another cargo ship, the Tianzhou-3. This advanced spacecraft carried about six tons of goods, packed in more than 200 bags. The cargo included food, water, and an additional spacesuit. On October 16, another three-member crew took up for the space station. The Shenzhou 13 team included Jai Zhigang, Ye Guangfu, and Wang Yaping. After working on the space station for more than five months, their major achievements include two extravehicular activities and transferring a Tianzhou 2 cargo ship to the Tianhe core module using the robotic arm. In addition, they also conducted a further verification of life support technologies and compatibility assessment of all systems in preparation for future long-term human involvement and the completion of the space station. The chief designer of China's space program, Zhou Jianping, earlier said, starting from this May, China's space station, or Tiangong, will enter a new stage in its in-orbit construction period. And the country will see over 50 space launches this year and sending a total of six astronauts to the CSS. Yu Yang, CGTN, Beijing.